business trade lines. Sometimes people will come in and they'll be like, you know what? I'll put $200,000 of business trade lines on your corporation. They're going to put $200,000 of business trade lines on your corporation, but guess what? How are they putting them on there? A lot of times what they do is they go on there and they say, I'll put $200,000 with trade lines on your corporation. And this is some person that has five corporations who made those corps so they can sell corporate trade lines. And how do they do that? What they do is they say, you call Dun & Bradstreet or whatever and say, hey, I got this, uh, they call it corporate builder. So you can buy that for like $900, $800 and something dollars and make payments, but you don't need that. But I'm just saying this is how they do it. They say, if you have somebody who gave you credit, we'll call them and then we'll verify it and we'll put it on your credit report. Now, why would you need corporate trade lines? Why would you need trade lines on your personal? Because the more credit that you have, remember, the more the bank likes, the better. So banks generally give you credit based on what has already been given to you. So you're ahead of the game if you can get some trade lines put on and say, look, I got $100,000 on my pay net. Do you think the bank going to give you a problem giving you a Benz or a fleet of cars? No. So that's why sometimes it's good to have trade lines. Not saying you can't get money without trade lines, but it depends on what you're trying to do. So you go in, you say, I'll report $200,000 to your business so to help your corporation. So you say, okay, you pay them and they'll answer the questions and say, yes, we gave him corporate trade lines. Yes, we lent them $100,000. Then they call the next company they got. Hello, ABC Corporation. How are you? Did you give such a $50,000? Yes, we gave him $50,000. It's the same damn person, his wife and his kids or his family. And now they go through all them. Now you got $200,000 on your court. But see, the problem is, is I understand banking. I trained some of these people. So if you go in and the bank sees that this trade line is not being paid down, 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 which they can't pay it down because they're not hooked directly to the bureaus. They call it Metro 2 system. What is Metro 2 system, Derek? Metro 2 system is when I own the debt and I report it directly to Metro 2 system. And the, the Metro 2 system is where it scrambles the information so nobody can steal that person's personal information. Then it goes to the bureaus and they descramble it and put it on your report. So they call that uploading. But if nothing's ever been uploaded because they don't have the ability to do that, right? They're just piggybacking. They're just calling up and verifying. The bank will say, like I will say, hey, John, come here. Come to my office for a second. Do you see this file? Yes. Did you notice that this line is not being paid down? Who the hell has a line of 100 grand and it's not being paid down? He said, oh, I didn't notice that. Well, it looks like, John, you need to go back to training. And of course, you know, if that happens, you're going to have a reduction in pay until you get out of training. And I think it may be six months. Well, I, you know what? I woke up late. I said, okay, make sure you pay attention to this stuff, okay? Got it, Mr. Whitehead. So I guess you understand what I'm saying. You don't want piggybacking because if the bank sees or thinks that you're doing piggybacking, they want you to earn your credit like everybody else does. So if they get a notion that you're piggybacking, they will red flag your company. You'll do business and make money, but you ain't getting no credit nowhere.